Hello, welcome to Wallis. This video is made to uh, show the main functionalities of the Word Atlas of Last Integration Shorelines interface. The starting point is the website warmcoast.eu. Um, you can go on menu, Wallis, and here you have the main page explaining you uh, a little bit what Wallis is and uh, um, what we are doing throughout the database. Clicking on this button, you can access the database on itself. Now, if you don't have a username and a password, you can create it through here. You click on new user and you will have to fill in all these forms, accept the term and condition. You can see our term and conditions here and add yourself. What will happen is that you will receive an email and from there you have to follow the instructions to create an account. Once you have an account, you can log in. Of course, we can put in the captcha. I already have my username and password, and you can access um, the main interface. The main interface is divided in different sections that you can see here on the left. Let's see them very quickly, one by one. The first one is access the database. This means that you can have access to everything that has been put in the database by different authors uh, or by yourself. For example, if I click on Wallis Open Data here, um, I can see the web map, which is already part of the uh, main interface. And in the web map, in the web map, there are different uh, points that you can interrogate. For example, public sea level data points. These are data points that are made public by the authors who inserted them, and you can see all the informations here unpublished sea level data points. These are sea level data points that are in the database, but the uh, reviewers had not made them public yet. They will be public as soon as the paper on the special issue is published. Then you can turn on the dating section. Let's turn off the other two for better, to see them better. The dating section basically contains data for which we have um, ages. For example, in this point, we have an AAR age on a mollusk, and we have the analysis ID here where we can that we can search. If you click on uh, here, published reviews, you will also see a number of um, uh, sites that have been already reviewed by previous reviews. Our aim is to reevaluate uh, these all these sites, so don't discard them if they are here. But this can be a very good guidance, for example, to understand what uh, other reviews your reviewers extracting from the original papers. You will also read and uh, um, and evaluate and insert into the database. So. All the data that is in here in terms of web map, it's also available as um, in table format. It takes always a little bit to load, but uh, because the table is pretty big on the background, there it is. So basically all the uh, data that was made public by different reviewers uh, is available here. Uh, not only the sea level data points, but the different indicators, positioning, etc., etc. U series data, amino acid luminescence, etc., etc. Um, if you click on the see details button here, you can see every record one by one and maybe print out a PDF or uh, save a PDF if you want or print it. So this is basically uh, where all the data will end up once the C-level database or the C-level special issue will be finally published. We also put together uh, a references database. So there are more than 1,000 uh, references in here. Um, and you can for example, search by author name, and you will find, for example, in this case, all the papers where Paul Arty is, is a co-author. So if you will insert data, uh, you will um, have to insert a reference, but the reference might already be in here. So cross-check this if the reference is already in here. We already did some of the job for you. Uh, then, if you can go into My Data, 
you can actually see everything that you have in the database, also if it's private. You have some maps here, uh, some very simple locations. In this case, for the sea level data points, you have very simple location and paleo sea level, sublocation if you inserted it. For the U series, you have, for example, um, you have, for example, date material analysis ID. So very quickly, you will be able to see where your samples are falling and realize if you if there is a mistake in the coordinates, for example. Uh, the same thing can be accessed in the My Tables. And this is basically all the data that you inserted in uh, Wallis. This is all the data I inserted in these days. Um, these, table will, these tables will start populating as soon as you start um, looking at data and inserting papers. The second interface is uh, the one we use for inserting data that we will see more in detail in, in another uh, video tutorial. But just to give you a hint of what it is, Basically, in here, if you click anything, you will be able, by clicking this button, add new record, to basically add your own record. We're going to see all these fields in um, a further video, but this is just to show you that this is the insert data interface is where most of the work will be done and where you will be able to insert your data. The third section is the section about security and is very short. Uh, here you can change your password or log off from the system. Now, don't worry too much if you, instead of logging off, you just click uh, in the close button in the browser uh, because you will be signed off automatically as well. And then we have three uh, fields that are fairly important. I'm going to start with the help. Uh, the help basically contains um, lots of information about the different forms and uh, what every field means for it with um, you know figures and uh, different uh, um, and different uh, um, help tips for example you can digitize in here you series let's see if we can find something and you have everything related to you series uh, or you can digitize 232 thorium and you have every field here mentioning 230, 230, 232 thorium, thorium ratios. So this is pretty helpful um, if you don't really know what uh, must be inserted in a field. Just a quick word, uh, more or less the same help tips can be found readily available here in the little question marks near the insertion forms. So um, I would suggest that first you try to see if help is provided here. If you need more help, you go to the help section and you try to find out um, if there is more help. Of course, we always welcome uh, um, feedbacks on this. Uh, and if you want to clarify a few other things or you want more clarifications, please let us know. Please suggest us um, text that we can insert here. Uh, the last two fields are again very quick. Um, the first one is bug report. This is what we use to basically, um, you can use to tell us weird um, behaviors of the interface. Um, you can basically type in here uh, where you're having the problem, in which subheading you're having the problem, describe it, and then tell us what kind of um, error you have. So high priority usually is when you cannot insert data because of the error. Um, medium priority is if some data cannot be inserted. Low priority uh, is just uh, a wish list and data change request is if by mistake you saved some data and you cannot go back. We have access to the database so we can cancel them for you. Um, and last but not least, we have the auto site section, which is basically dedicated to how to cite the contribution. Um, if you are creating uh, data within the special issue we are um, organizing, uh, in this page, we will list all the papers and uh, you will be acknowledged as well in this page. 
So thank you. I hope this introduction was uh, useful. In the next videos, we are going to see how to use the insert data interface here and really start inserting uh, data into the database.